Hi. In a previous video, we have talked about um, standard filter, and today we want to talk about advanced options you see here, and we will talk about each one of them. So let's begin with case sensitive. If, for example, here I check country to be Belgium and I check case sensitive, you see here I have Belgium with different letters, okay, because uh, of a mistake. So we have two different countries in spite of being just one. So if I check that, I have just one country. But if I uncheck case sensitive, I get everything, including this wrong um, uh, spelling word. So this is, uh, you have to be careful here because you lose some um, elements in your list. Okay, if you check case sensitive. Now let's talk range contains column labels. So you see here country, number of cases, date. So in my case, the selection, it's containing labels. So if I uncheck that, I will lose that heading. So I will don't know what the data meaning. It's very important to check that if you have a heading and you want the labels to be uh, there. Now, uh, let's... Uh, show everything in order to talk about something else. We want to um, select a range and save a range. This uh, selection we want to define as uh, my data. And also we want to define an area here. Uh, let's select three elements. And here we want to have to define another um, range, my results. Okay, so if I'm filtering here data, the results will go where I specify. So I want uh, from Belgium to know, um, let's see again, so we go to standard filter, advanced, and here we want to copy the results of the selection. For example, we want the selection to be Belgium in my results here. Okay, so what I have selected is going right. And my table is unchanged. Let's uh, format to be the same. Okay. If I'm changing um, the filter here, if I'm changing to Bulgaria, everything has changed. If I uh, add another criteria to, be, for example, number of cases uh, greater or with 2000, I have all the numbers greater than 2000. Let's change to 3000 okay so the selection uh, the filter data is uh, moving to the right and i have um, the base data unchanged let's check now a regular expression so let's remove first the criteria here uh, the, for example i want country and here let's uh, search all the countries beginning with uh, C. So we enter a regular expression here. We check that. So country to be with this regular expression beginning with C. So I have all the countries beginning with C, like I wanted. Now I want to select all the countries that um, contain a C. Let's see what we have. For example, we have France is not beginning with C, but we have a C uh, here. The same with Greece. 
now we want to filter the countries that have an A in the end. So let's create a selection. Let's check for all the countries that have an A in the end. So we use now dollar. Okay, so A everywhere in the end of the words. Let's see more. Let's talk about no duplication. But first, let's see something here. We have Bulgaria with 2,220 cases. And the same row we have here. It's very important to have the same info. So let's change back to 15. So if these two rows are identical, we don't want that rows to appear. So if we check, let's remove. So country to be a Bulgaria and I want no duplication. You can see I have three, four, five, six um, elements in my list. If I uncheck no duplication, I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. Because here the rows are identical and I don't have no duplication check. So it's very useful when you need it. Let's see what we have more. We have keep filter criteria. So when we copy results here, the data will be connected when we have this uh, option checked. Okay, so very easy to use. I hope you have learned something in today's video. It's a powerful tool, standard filter with these advanced options. I hope it was very easy to learn. So you can add multiple criteria here and also use very powerful search. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.